Hi everybody, this is the Nutty Fruit Hollow and we are sitting on I-70 West getting ready. We were on our way to Rural King to pick up a 22 long rifle that we had purchased and we got stuck behind a truck that broke its front axle and it's taken up both lanes. So. Police just now showed up. This is, we've been here for about 30 minutes now. We have like everybody, and if you want to see behind us, let's see. See if you can see how far back this all goes. Pretty far back. Anyways, just wanted to give you, figured this is a good time to do. A video so since I can't drive and we got we're just sitting here what do we got going on today everybody's trying to keep busy see that's right she's trying to keep busy I am trying Darren to sleep. <laughs> trying to sleep what well, little bit of sleep he can get but just want to let you guys all see what we do for a living. We sit in the car lake. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Desiree. That's how my children occupy themselves. <laughs> Alright, so what do we got going on? We're getting a 22. Why are we getting a 22, honey? To shoot, to shoot animals. What kind of animals? Pigs. Groundhogs. Pigs. Groundhogs. Pigs. Um, Pigs. We got Deers. some moles. We have Pigs. what else? Pigs. Deer. We can't shoot deer with a 22. Not allowed in Pennsylvania. But I have a 30 out six for that. What else have we got? We got. We're planning on getting some goats and some pigs and stuff, and we're getting the 22 in order to be able to, to the ones that we use for meat, to put them down. Hon, do you want to like look this way? I need to. No, just say hi. Hi. I need to shoot a snake. I will. Oh, oh he's yeah, or, it, or a hawk. He's highly mm. afraid of snakes. Not afraid of them, so long as they stay outside. <laughs> Not in my house. So, we have been sitting here and contemplating a little bit about um, what kind of goats we're going to get, things like that. So, I think we've decided our best bet is to get a kinder goat. Um, a kinder goat is a mix between a pygmy and a no. Uh, Norwegian or Norwegian or yeah something like that so why did we choose kinder um, well after a long discussion and debate and thinking of what we are looking to do we are looking for meat as well as milk um, so we could do cheese and soaps and things and like ice that. cream um, we decided to do the kinder for a couple different reasons not only do they have a high butter fat like the Norwegian stuff like that they're not super high but they're about the same they also give off about the same amount of milk per day um, the kinder goats are a little bit larger a little bit meatier um, so and we are planning on using all the males for meat. the other thing that we are planning on doing is um, we're, we'd like to be able to have milk year round. Now, I'm not sure if this is correct, and if it's not, please, you know, down below comment. Um, but from what my understanding is, we've never had goats, so this is strictly just listening to people and talking to people. But from our understanding is the Norwegian goats, you breed them in the fall, and they kid out in the spring. Um, and that's it 
So you basically, you have milk, you know, you give the kids their milk for what, three, four weeks, and then you can take the milk up until kidding season, up until mating season again. Um, that just won't do for us. I mean, we would like to have milk all year long. So kinder goats, what I've read about them, and I've done a lot of research on them, is that they will I literally go into heat twice a year. They will go into heat in the spring and then also in the fall. So if we were to mate um, one in the spring and mate another one in the fall, we would literally have milk year round. So we would always have a goat that's in milk. Um, and that's what I like. I mean, we're talking the same buttermilk fat. We're talking the same amount, um, you know, give or take a little bit, but it's, it's so minimal, it's not even to be discussed. Um, the size is comparable to that of like a male kinder is box about the exact same size as a Norwegian male, um, which is a pretty good size, a good size to get some meat off of. So that's why we decided to get kinder goats. Um, not sure if uh, I'm all correct in what I've been told. Um, if I'm not, then please, please let me know before we end up buying some. Um, we are not looking at getting goats, probably not until like end of May, we're going to start looking. Um, the other option is, is I want to hear what you guys think about getting goats from a auction. Um, a friend of mine just went to an auction that we have here, a livestock auction, and he ended up picking up two adult goats and um, six baby goats. Um, they were a mix. Uh, so a couple were pygmy, a couple were Norwegian, a couple were boar. Um, but he got all of them for about $500. So I myself am not interested in so much for, say, you know, showing goats or anything like that. So for me, to have a purebred is not really a big deal to me. I'm doing this for milk, I'm doing this for meat, I'm doing this strictly for a homestead. Um, not looking to show or get into all of that stuff. Maybe later in the future, but right now, I'm looking to sustain ourselves. That's our Wait, primary our goal, is to sustain ourselves. Yeah, and the animals have her. to be able to sustain from our property as well. And since we have a lot of woods, we have about two and a half acres of nothing but wooded land um, and tons of brush. We thought, you know, goats would be our best bet. Plus, we've looked at lambs and yes, we do have some pasture. We decided to go out and get some lamb chops and I don't know if I cooked it wrong or something, but first off, I did cook it well done. I don't like pink meat. Um, it just didn't taste right. Neither, none of us really enjoyed the taste. But I did go out and bought some goat steaks and I we tried those and oh my gosh, it was wonderful. I, I couldn't, it was so much like beef. It was like, wow. So we that's one of the other reasons why we decided on goats instead of, you know, sheep or things like that. Um, so we also have decided to, we are going to sell our rabbits. They are not gonna move with us. We're going to go ahead and sell them off. Now, the reason we had rabbits to begin with was the meat, um, of course, but it also was for the fertilizer, the poo. I mean, it's excellent fertilizer. You can put it right on your plants. You don't have to compost it. Please quit doing that. And it was just perfect for, and, you know, it was easy to maintain. Didn't take up a lot of room since we had such a small piece of property. But now that we have a large piece of property, we could get put a big compost pile on if we wanted to. Um, it's not, I mean, that's nothing for us. And I was looking into maybe doing the worm composting and things like that. So I think we're going to do that. We have an old um, clawfoot tub sitting in our garage right now that I've been trying to debate whether or not to take on the move with us or not. And then I decided, you know what, that would be awesome to put the worms in. We could do a worm compost. 
So I think we are going to take it with us. Um, but we have decided to give up the rabbits. Uh, right now, it's just, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, you know, yeah, you just go in, and, but all three of them are together, or two male, or one male and two females are together at all times. The poor girls have just been mated to death. Um, well, not really. I think they've mated, they've had three litters through the winter. And I think it's just time to separate them out. And I really didn't want to put them in a cage myself. But if somebody else wants to do that, that's fine. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and get rid of them. The cost of the feed, although they're not costing us anything, we sell off the babies and that's paying for the cost of the feed. It's something we don't need to deal with um, in keeping them clean, keeping the cages clean, keeping, you know. We're going to have to let that go, and in exchange, you know, we're going to look at, you know, we're going to do turkeys, and we're going to do goats, and if we ever want to go back to rabbits, I mean, that's an option, option that we can always do, but right now, we, we're trying to minimize the work that we have to do, so they will be being sold um, right away you know, before we move. So if you are interested or anybody is interested, uh, we have a purebred Californian buck and we have two purebred uh, standard Rex rabbits. Um, and that is what we have been breeding. When you breed the, I will let you know that you breed a Californian to a standard Rex, you get a great meat product and you get a great fur. Um, but if you're interested or you know anybody interested, let us know. Uh, it's going to go cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. So I just don't, I'm not looking to make money off of them. I'm just looking to go to a good home. So uh, let me know. And it looks like we finally, let me turn you around. Finally got a tow truck in. So this is where we're at right now. We're still sitting on 70. Not too much going on. Just turned around. And I think I'm going to go ahead and sign out from here. So I had took a video yesterday. Uh, it wasn't a real big one or anything, but I will try and post that later tonight. I'm going to go ahead and post this one now. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, so the Nutty Fruit Hollow is going to sign out. Leave Thanks. a like. Bye-bye.